Hello everybody, Ultra Mario here, and welcome to the long-awaited Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I am so excited to play this game. I played a little bit already, but, you know, not, not like enough, obviously. Just a bit of the prologue, so I'm gonna do a new file here. Oh wait, actually I, I need the game intro to play, because it doesn't play unless I start, like, the game, like, anew completely. So I have to let those title things play real quick. I'm sorry. Forgot. I need the prologue to actually play because otherwise, you know, you're missing the lore here. A thousand year lore. Ahem. Today. I'm gonna tell you the story of the thousand year door. An awfully long time ago. In a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town. Okay, wait. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth whirred and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night. Why is the lighting off? The town sank into the depths of the, the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot, built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who lived there that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogue Forge. And this music goes so hard. Yes, this is where I've been, in the sea of the town of Rogue Forge. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure, in the Thousand Year Tour, starts here. Let's frickin' go! So excited. Woohoo! This game is so damn pretty, guys. Finally! I have a, okay, I have a minute without Toads worth watching over me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I came all the way on here on holiday only to be stuck with Toads work. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around and see what I want. Now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Oh, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. Also, I never noticed that's supposed to be Boldum. But the box has a matched lock on it that will only open for a pure noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as mud if one such as myself touches it. At least I think it's about them, I don't know. Oh. Because she tried to trick her into opening the box, right? The box will open for you, Missy. Then you may have whatever is inside. Wait. <laughs> Go on, hold it. Bro, it's the rope person from... The rope figure from King Hearts. I suppose I should try opening it. It's handsome, guys. I mean, it's the same color robe. Open the door to darkness. Okay. Alright, I'm only gonna have like 30 minutes or so to play. Want to play for longer today, but, you know, stuff got in the way, so. That's okay, it's just a prologue anyway, so. Don't have to worry that much about, you know, playing for a long time yet. Mail call. Love Hair Carry. He was one of my favorites in the first game. Hey, we each... Hey, bro. Check it out. A letter from Princess Beach Alive for you. Oh, wait. What's, what is happening? Oh, it's still working. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? 
Ahem. Now let's see here. It's fun having to read things in Mario character voices, because most Mario games I play don't have any dialogue. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling the Mushroom Kingdom. I can't really do a Peach voice, as you can tell, so I'm just gonna talk normally, because, like, that's just not gonna work, man. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. I like how they added the Peach's Castle theme. I was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogue Park. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? No. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogue Park. That means you must come, Peach. Oh, guess I don't got a choice, eh? How do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. Check it out. Man, the music hits so much harder with headphones on, honestly. Yo. Man, this is so exciting. My favorite game is back. Well, one of my favorites anyway. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's hard to gauge. It's hard to gauge that stuff. But it's definitely, like, top five. At least. Rogue's welcome. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogue Park. Bro, that's the same freaking beach <laughs> stock sound from Spongebob in, like, the opening. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I wonder who that's supposed to be. I mean, they gave him a voice, at least, so that's neat. I don't know. Unseen Boatman. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. <laughs> Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sore details about Rogue Boat on our way here, did I not? <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? <laughs> Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. No spin dash like Paper Mario 1. It's ruined. And as my first act, I will hammer this. Ba ba. If you get a game over, if you start playing over again from the title screen, you can continue from the last point you save. Anytime you find a block like this on your metro, be sure to hit save. Oh! Bruh, I love that bomb voice. Oi, welcome to the road point. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got you got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is you never know when you're gonna hit kick the old bucket. <laughs> what you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? <laughs> Bruh, I love that. It reminds me so much of Banjo Kazooie. I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd read about a princess, probably. Why do you want this check anyway, pal? Oh, your money, or is she your girlfriend? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it! I know you're a nosy bookinor, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Star. Wow, this song goes so hard here. Well, now I'm done doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely device. But, 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 
Boys, we're taking it by a brand new one. Fortress. As you command, Lord Comp. We're on it. Bruh, I love their, like, alien sounding voice. No, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Hey, looks like another dust up among rogues. Blokes in this town abuse is too short by half. Times of violence like these, you gotta hit say hit, give that same block a whack to save your progress. The thing about life, uh, okay. Your life is, you never know when you'll see that big game over screen. You get me? True. Yay. I just wanted to do that once. At least it's fast. Another fight? I swear, you hardly get through a morning stri stretch before someone throws a punch in this town. Yeah, it's like the Waffle House. Oh, it's the patch. Hoof, hoof, heart, fourth, half. Out of the way, you scatterbag. Move your beloved moans. Blimey, a bite? Corkin. Hehe, <laughs> ain't nothing so fun as watching a few blokes duke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Hey, looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I've had an extra life. Like, I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Hm, not likely. What? Sorry if I take a lot of pictures. I just really want to take a lot of screens of this game. What are you doing, you champ? You think you can screw up my plans? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crumble bomb. Can't please this by it. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week. Freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. What was that? And you did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points. Bruh. That's what these little things are. Star points. The th Bruh, I love that guitar. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? I love Mario Slims up in these games. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Where do you get all these men anyway? Punish him! Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Wait, can I... I can't tattle with her yet. No. Oh, I can actually hit them? Not really, but... Yeah, let's check the balls menu real quick.
Yo. Okay. Dang. I like that they actually get more additional use for shine sprites and star pieces though. That's so cool. Buh huh? Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Anyone? Uh, crud, they bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. My name's Gumbella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> bro, I love this. Oof! Man, I already hate it. Stay down, bro. Hate it here. Your boss sends his greetings. How's that rotate, punk? I hate... I already hate it. Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. Already... We won't forget this. I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the blood in your treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh. Is, is that a map? You have, you have to tell me where you got that. Hearts of Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly. Hey, but it's a Basco Mario. I love Toad's worth. Bit of a coincidence bumping into a one and all the, this sort of place, hmm? Oh, uh. So, tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bark? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you in R Rumport? Intriguing. Oh, yeah. I love his poses. You asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how strong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. Eh, I don't like that that's in the corner. Annoying. You can, like, vaguely see it there. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP. Hard points really glow. Just drop on in! <laughs> yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach, do you mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? I mean... Princess, you always get nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach didn't use that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know Mario, come with me. Oh, new theme, I guess, for partners or just Gumbella, I don't know. One of my professor here is researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then Mabel will find some clues about Princess Peach. I like it, but I also kind of miss the old partner theme. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. A primer. I don't remember it being called that, but... When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon above Goombella's head. 
There we go. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. That's Goose and the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or bugged. Mario's reaction? Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. This is Rockport Square, the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Try using your ability whenever you can. That concludes this little primer. Do you think you've mastered Gabella's abilities now? Of course, Gabella would be quite helpful in battle, too. She can jump to the track with a head bulk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her title ability. Bro, if Paper Mario ever gets in, like, Smash, they, they have to have a title codec thing. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and it looks like this. <laughs> oh, before I forget to mention it, from, uh, sorry. From here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, just by pressing ZL. There's like a spot on my TV. I'll clean off later. That would be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Let's look for Professor Finkley. I know he lives somewhere in town. That's Goomba the Goomba. He's always grumbling about getting ripped off. He must be easy to con, which isn't to say that we should con him, of course. I'm looking for this guy who deep brought me with a free credit card the other day. You find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? You press R, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't do know that. I did, actually. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in the inn so you can recover. Use your head. That guy's a local Goomba. He'll give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips might totally come, totally might come in handy, so you ought to talk to him as often as possible. Oh, uh, if he's a Goomba that gives tips, isn't he li just like you, then? Gotta love the classic noose. Mario can't reach it anymore, sadly. They raised it. This is Rockport's main square. Sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There are lots of regular working folks here, but they're also near to wild. Near to wild. Venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. Oh. Looks like I got a message. Hold up. That guy's a mouse a million. He snips out propositions that might make him loot. If his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. You smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star has finally started to shine. Now that's any of your business. The torf board between the Payanta Syndicate and the Robos. Heating up, apparently. Best day indoors. Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Hudley's best customer. I love that cowboy Koopa. Apparently I get one million coins. Freeze! Wait, did she always have lipstick? I never noticed that somehow. I thought she decided to puffed up lip. You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk. Just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Bruh. 
Ah! Idiot, you stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine, that's your plan. Then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. This is Roquefort's... Bruh, no, that's Zusty, actually. That's SST, a super skilled toe chef. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. She's like a kitchen magician. Eh, she's alright. She's just a cranky old lady. She definitely is not tasty, that's for sure. I'm like a total putz in the kitchen, so I really respect a chef such. No, look, I'm not letting you to the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Yeah, probably just a little bit. Oh, hold on. I didn't realize the uh, chat box was slightly off here. Hi there, Boomerang. Been a while. Oh, I was way off with that. Okay, it's fine. Long time no see, dude. Just playing for a bit here. My rage, ah, my rage is so red hot right now, I could cook you with it. Oh well. Bruh. Yeah, I'm not playing for long today, but figured I'd at least, you know, start out on the prologue. I still got at least 10, 20 minutes left or something. Wait, can I get her stuck like in the original? I like to wedge her between fences and stuff because it's funny. I used to do that in Paper Mario 64 too, to try to like separate the party members. But I bet they'd be a little smarter than they were before. Actually, wait. Music goes hard. I love how it changes between locations. It's just like a Toad Town in Paper Mario. Also, that drawing is funny. Yeah, it's it's so fun to try to trap them. Especially in the original game, you can do that all the time. In this game, in, in, in the OG TTYD anyway, not as much, but... Toad Brothers Bazaar is run by a pair of Toad Brothers. This one's thrifty. They must get along really well to be able to run a shop together, you know? But then again, you and Luigi are pretty tight too, right? You guys have a fight? <laughs> welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. <laughs> eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. <laughs> Gee, Bella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. Also, I love all the new animations and expressions they add to, like, literally every character. That's, like, the best thing about this game. It makes it automatically definitive, honestly. It gives everybody so much character. Bro, this new part of the song is peak. I can special order one right, in, right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Well, actually, it's not new, but the, the store version is chill. That was my favorite record. Now it's hot, even hotter. Hey there, fella. Welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each item they purchase, up to a max of 300 points. You with me so far? They have enough shop points, and you get prizes to click some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me to explain again? No. I like, I heard that it changes between location, which is so cool. Now with that said, <laughs> Hey there, fella. Welcome to Toad Brothers Bazaar. What can I do for you? Oh, he just says the same thing. <laughs> Toad 
Kill them. <laughs> Not to wait a little bit longer. Okay, I gotta buy a couple mushrooms. Bro, I can't multi buy yet. Hey, Nene, long time no see. How's it going? I'm really excited about this game. I'll buy a couple mushrooms, like two. Maybe two of these. Really good. Thank you. I'll just buy everything. I heard Sleepy Shape is a lot better in this game than in OG. It basically puts people to sleep, like, forever. It's more like the OG um, Paper Mario, because in OG, I feel like you could put people to sleep for a while. I remember that at least, but I don't remember it being using it that much in OG T2ID, so... I feel like it probably wasn't as good in comparison. That guy's a bob sailor. I think he comes every time his ship makes for him. I don't blame him. This place has a totally cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular too. Boy, I used to sail around and run wild in me younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Wait, what? Oh, yo, that's kind of sus, bro. Keep to yourself, bro. That's too much information. Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. That guy practically lives here. He must like it, huh? He's the old, at least like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tales of every love of his life, one by one. Right? It's peak. I wonder if they, um, because the original game in Japanese had a lot more references to OG Paper Mario that weren't quite translated by the remake. Wait, she just voids herself. What? She just teleports now. Like, there's like a fade-out animation. I mean, she did that in the original too, but they didn't have the fade. I love Flavio. Also, he's singing the Boom Bossa Boom song. This is the Skull Stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. He sounds kind of like... I don't know... I know that I made the Banjo-Kazooie comparison earlier, but he definitely sounds like a Banjo-Kazooie voice. I just don't know which one. It's so fabulous. I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. That's the entrepreneur, Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing in here so early in the day though? Think he's doing okay? Hardly's a go. That's the innkeeper, Podley. He looks distinguished, always polishing those glasses. I wouldn't mind having a cold Chocola Cola sometime and listening to him talk. My and Luigi reference, let's go! He opened this in a long time ago, so he really knows about the townsfolk. <laughs> Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place, a humble little co cola shop where folks make stories and drinks. Yep, that's also Chocola Cola in that game, so it's it's canon. Mario and Luigi is canon to Paper Mario, they're the same character. Don't, do not, nobody cares about Paper Jam. That game it did not happen, uh, they're the same Mario, okay? Paper Mario is not a separate character. Screw you, Paper Jam, okay? Same Mario. True. By the way, there's an inn upstairs where you're wary. Go on up and relax. I mean, there's nothing saying Mario and Luigi can't happen in Paper Mario, and vice versa. Bruh. Welcome to the Lone Refuge in this port of filthiness. Bruh. Our beds will soothe your soul. Get arrested. Five coins. No thanks. Come again. I like how there's a freaking bucket collecting the water. That woman runs the end. She's sweet and helpful, unlike most reporters. Your HP and FP got you low. Come here to get rest. Get them restored with a night of rest. That's Toadsworth, steward of Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Princess Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. 
Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Love how it's worth. I miss him. Oh, you can jump in the bucket? I didn't know. I don't think I could do that in the original. Oh, wait. What's this book say? I don't think I read that when I was playing earlier. I can't read it. Damn. No. Sorry, we're closed. We'll reopen at 11 a.m. today. When is that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, wait. There's a star piece here, isn't there? Yes! Okay. I'll have to be on the watch out. I did already take some screenshots of where all uh, floorboards are, like here. By the way, apparently he is not wearing a white t shirt at all. The Dugans. He is... That is literally his stomach. Because, um, I watched Boundary Break, and the the layer of his clothing, actually, he has, like, a brown back and a white stomach. Yeah, he's... It's kind of like a Monty Mole. Right? It's crazy. Okay, hold on. Let's... That's a lazy dukin. He hunts shady jobs and he expects to pay well. But he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. <laughs> Professor Frankly, actually, I think a, a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Let's go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a, hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? Wow, his face. I like how they made the freaking, you know, the shopkeeper guy from Paper Mario 64 to a regular species in this game. Hey, what's your beat, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! That guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. I believe he stole more money in the original. I think it was like all of your money. That's because uh, the game probably... They probably accounted for the fact that some, most people might just miss this encounter entirely, so... Yeah, good, good point. Dead body room, let's go! Kill the cockroach. Yeah! Might be helpful as a star beast guy, too, partially. That's a bandit who's made this place his hideout. Seems like he totally loves this place, but would he kill him to clean him up a bit? You live like this? Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Yeah. Let me give you a new splash. Even the innocent looking people in town are oh, thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? Kill him, man. I love bandits, though. They're cool. That's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he just blow it. He depresses me. <laughs> Dang, yesterday I blew through 100 coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. That's Mick Goomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he's on the lamp from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in a back alley? It's nasty here. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I taught to tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. Then the heat came down and I need to hide out, so I came to Rogue Corps. Now that I told you, I'm lying low in the thief's den. You gotta keep it a secret, okay? Hehe, <laughs> I'm so sly. Okay, now to actually play the game. I just love talking to people. Oh yeah, I forgot to go back.
This is Rockport Harbor. Ships come here from all over the world. Everybody's always working their tails off down here. No wonder it's totally sweaty. Sometimes this area is all stacked high with cargo from all the ships. The water smells pretty rank, but that's like, you know, the magic of a port town, you know? That's a toad sailor who works here at Rogueport Harbor. I hear he loves his family so much that it's hard for him to go on long voyages. Hey, in case you don't know, the square's through the gate at the top of the stairs. There are shops and the inn and stuff there. Gotta take a good look around. That's Papatch the Babon. He's a real salty sailor type. Totally active guy. Huh? Yeah, you look pretty tough and pretty burly, too. Gotta love strong go getters, huh? Oof, oof, oof. Ah, out of the way, you dirty dog. Move yourself. Wait, what, what happened to the part where Boombella kissed me? I don't... Isn't that supposed to happen? I don't know. I feel like that didn't happen this time. That's a Babon sailor. He does basic harbor work. Like loading and unloading. He's kind of gruff, but he seems to have decent advice. Pretty okay guy all around. There's, that's a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor, but hey, I always hear him worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's so tweaked. You know, speaking of which, you don't exactly worry about Luigi much, do you? Whoops. I did the same thing in Luigi Mansion. I would just use the Game Boy Horror on, like, literally everything. I need to know everything about this world. By the sound of it, something bad happened to this sailor. Now he hates the sea. Sounds so sad. I wonder what he thinks about when he looks out the ocean. Not that you care, but I gave up all my live streams. Now I just stare at the sea. I walk around, alone, and I wait for a ship that never returns. Life sinks, you know that? I like how he's just smiling. That's Bomberto, a Babon sailor. He's small, but he's a super hard worker. He doesn't just sail either. He loads and unloads stuff too. Look at those muscles. Um, how? I don't know. Who, me? Well, I'm a bit down. My older brother left port just the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. There's a rogue port after all. This town's rotten with crooks, thieves, and hooligans. Okay, well, time to actually progress the plot now. I'm just gonna go to, like, Pedalberg and then stop. Or actually, the sewers. That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts. Oh wait, no, nope, no, nope, sorry. <laughs> That's a coup free the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. You can call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problem just go away. Hey, you big old rude. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild attack. Be careful. Live longer. There's a bug there. That's Larson, the bandit. The words are out on his scan, so he's laying down here. Low here. First, he wouldn't have to lay low anywhere if he just keep his nose clean. One note. You think he might maybe just get some well from Big Law or what? This is Rogue Park's east side. It's considered dangerous here, even for Rogue Park. This is Ishnail's turn. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Robos. Then again, you can also find Merlin here. He can help your level your partners up. Still, it's definitely too rough for a place for a non raphael like me to walk alone. That's Darkly. He loves the dark. He just stays here in the shadows all day long. Sounds kind of creepy to me, but hey, whatever piles you up, know what I mean? Oh, okay. Taking a screenshot of that. Hey, hey, I'm pulling another card trick today, making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw him here, or I'll bonk you. Hey, my name is Darkly. Bro, he sounds like Sam's Undertale. I like dim places, but I'm done talking for now. Oh, okay, well, die.
Dang, no mystical remix like in Paper Mario? Oh, 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 oh. To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. That's Merlin. He's this odd man who says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here. For three shine shades, he raises a partner one rank. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine fights, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means a boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Yes. Mm, you don't have enough shine fights. Be gone. Come back when you have three. Return someday. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves called, who calls themselves the Rabos. He looks like a total maniac, but he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. Yeah, he is a maniac, actually, because he's pretty damn strong, actually, honestly. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is a turf of Ishdale, head of the Rabos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip up, whip you, good, but good. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to talk to take tolls for everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I'm sure it's super obvious, but that's point SP ever since hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Ow. Okay. That hurt. Well, Gumella can't do anything in this fight. Bruh, I tried to super guard. Ugh, that hurt? You have no chance of beating me. Trust me, You so you'd better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run through attack this better. Sometimes it's best to run. Nah, I can win. Nah, I'd win. Bruh, why can't I guard? What the heck? Okay, maybe I should have bought more mushrooms. I pressed A. Oh, good. Oh, wait, I don't think that actually puts him to sleep. Oh, okay. It I guess it just didn't work. Maybe it only has a chance to put him to sleep. Okay, he's done. There's no way I'll lose now. Yeah, I feel like he'd just wake up after one turn in the in OG TKO ID. Oh, thank God! Yes, I saved myself. Okay, this is rough. Oh no! Okay, okay, I can I can survive. I've got this. Holy crap. I survived! I lived! Boom, baby! 
What happens to the regular battle theme? Or the regular victory theme? You know, the dun 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 dun. Is that only in regular battles? Good. You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Look at that guy. This is... No. That's Swindle, the bandit. At least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arfur about something. Arfur? Like PBG's favorite character all time? No. Arthur. I just think of PBG when I think of Arthur. This, this is the East Broke part. This is a perfect Ishdale and his crew of Bravos. These sides all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you down well better have a compelling reason to be here. That's Arthur. He's always doing something hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently lives by some super scorn moral code. <laughs> that trouble center is the only place on the east side that other town folk come to. <laughs> place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should chop in. I'm out of the office. Please come again. I like how he just touches all the things now. Okay, now I just gotta talk to Frankly, and the stream's over. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. Was it? Who's there? Who wants me? I love him. Ah, uh, yes! You! Now! You! Uh... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Oh, this song's so goofy. Um, it's not Gumriel. Er, it's not Elegazoom. Elizagoom. Hmm. Um. Ah, I've got it. You're a Gubella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Gumbella, a junior at you Goom. Go Goombas. Go Kid. Uh, no. No knuckles reference here. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Whoa. Who? Mario. Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought if anyone knew about anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. Then why do you take tanks want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary tr treasure truly does exist. I really want to find it. Good point. Well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you, however. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while s still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's possible to find the truth among them. All agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that's, sol that's solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Oh hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical marble up before the entrance of the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday? Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be, and we're unlocked. It seems a thousand year door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we have that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Bruh, his face. Hubbada, hubbity, hubbada, hippity, hoobada, hubbala, huffla, hoofla. Really? 
You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero. You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, Eamon. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand-year door. Right on, Professor. Good calling. What are we doing just sitting here, then? Gubella, Mario, let's take the magical map to the thousand-year door. Off we must go. This instant, I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. All right. Thank you all so much for watching this stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and subscribe. Oh, wait. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Links on the sidebar. Post all my Twitch mods there, including ton of other stuff such as lots more Mario games, Sonic the Hedgehog, Pizza Tower, and a whole lot more. So if that sounds cool, feel free to check it out. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day and take care. Until I read this piece of dialogue anyway. Bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Hehe. <laughs> We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hudlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that first. Good call. In that case, let's have a little practice session. Cabela, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you serious? Oh, gee, um, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. Actually, no, I'll just end it here. Well, uh, or not. Yeah, yeah, I can end it here. Nope, bye.